Okay, this video is to show the absurdity in what basic companies are asking entry-level job applicants in their hiring applications. This is for Foot Locker for a position selling shoes at the mall. All right, so what interest, what industry are you interested in? Retail, education level, high school, did you graduate, still attending? I'd like employers to be able to view my profile or contact me, sure. And then, uh, yes, they consent to be in contact using an auto dialer by snag a job by opportunities. Sure, why not? Okay, continue. <clears throat> You'll be leaving snag a job now and going to the Foot Locker website to complete your application. Best of luck. Start Foot Locker application. Click. Position type, retail sales, footlocker, location name, Newgate Mall, location, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Overview, you recognize yourself when you enter one of our stores. You love to talk about athletic sneakers and apparel as much as you love to collect them. You always scope out the latest styles and enjoy sharing your enthusiasm with customers. It's easier for you to start up natural, friendly conversations, adapt to different types of customers, and resolve the issues with a smile. You like to work as a part of a team. As you improve your individual skills on the sales floor, your success in this role will be measured through personal and productivity goals, plus your ability to provide a great in-store experience to every customer. Customer capitalized with a C. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> Responsibilities, um, ensuring high levels of consume, customer satisfaction by being knowledgeable on all products offered and teaming up with coworkers to provide excellent sales service. Delivering sales, outstanding customer experience, operational expectations, maintaining personal and productivity goals, connects with every customer by asking open-ended questions to assess needs, ability to learn and share expertise of products and trends to fit customers' needs, maintains an awareness of all product knowledge and current or upcoming product trends, contributes to a positive and inclusive work environment. Qualifications, zero to three year of retail experience, confident and comfortable in engaging customers to deliver an, value and deliver an elevated experience. Motivated to achieve great results because of one's enthusiasm for interacting with customers and athletic products. Initiates completion of tasks or activities without necessary supervision. Flexible availability including nights, weekends, and holidays. Apply. Okay, let's apply for this job. Sales associate, store name, job location, position type. Create your new profile. Do you get Use online, online form. form. Let's click on online form. Candidate profile, one, two, three, four, five. Fields marked with asterisk indicate information required in that field. Provide your resume below to pre-fill your profile existing data and the form will be pre-replaced. I don't have a resume or a curriculum vita. <laughs> okay, a CV for Foot Locker, right on. Okay, I'm going to stop this while I fill in the personal information. Close your brain, that's an hour. Okay, highest education level completed. Even though I'm 45 years old and a college educated, we're going to choose less than high school graduate. Okay, let's go high school diploma. Let's just benefit of a doubt. High school diploma. Let's go there. School. Uh, let's see. Adler University, because Stephen Adler was the first drummer for Guns N' Roses, and we're going to go with that. Employment history, employer name, 
I've never had a job before, so we're going to skip through that. Availability. Several positions have a fluctuating work week. What hours of the day are you available? Check all that apply. Monday AM, Monday P. Well, what? You select all the ones that you're available for. We'll select them all. Okay. All day, every day, we're available. Select all languages you are proficient in. Oh wait, hang on, I'm supposed to hold the control key. Hang on. Control. Scroll down. Whatever, okay. English, we're fluent in English, all right. By sending this application, I certify that all the information I provided is true, complete, and correct. All that other legal blah, blah, blah. No, just pointed directly at the camera. <laughs> well, now it's on the video, Mom. <laughs> okay. Let me edit my curriculum vita for Foot Locker here. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got to edit my curriculum vita. Employment history. I've never had a job before. Okay, position held. None. Okay. Availability. All of it. Submit profile. Okay. Error. Invalid data. Please check all information before trying again. Password required. I put my password in there. Current compensation. Do I want to be paid in euros, Canadian dollars, Australian dollars, US dollars? Australia has, an own, has its own currency? Yes, it does. What's it called? Australian dollars. That's so dumb. <laughs> Current compensation. The what's dollary roo, that's what it's called. The dollary roo. What's minimum mean. wage here? Okay, I'm gonna go for five. Seven twenty-five. Seven point two five dollars per hour. Preferred compensation seven point two five. Minimum wage, baby. Not even McDonald's at fifteen bucks. McDonald's is paying fifteen dollars. Because people bitched about it. Oh my god, I want to work at McDonald's. Seriously. It depends on where you're at. at sure, Mom. I know, I'm kidding. I believe you. Submit profile. Can we continue finally for the love of Pete? Are you 18 years or older? Yes, I'm 45 years old and I've never had a job in my life. Yeah, sure. If offered a position, would you agree to any pre-employment screening such as background check? Sure, knock yourself out. Next. We are com required to compile the following information for statistical purposes in order to comply with certain federal regulations relating to equal employment opportunity and affirmative action requirements. The information you provide is strictly on a voluntary basis and the content of the information will not affect your eligibility for employment. Likewise, if you choose not to provide this information, it will not affect your eligibility for employment in any way. Okay. Hispanic or Latino? Oh. Okay, let's see, where do I click? I don't know. Voluntary information, gender. Mm. Opt out. We're gonna opt out, we're gonna get all, all sorts of that in here. Opt out. Race, opt out. <clears throat> Next. You would be so upset if I don't get to be me. 
Do you have the legal right to work in the country for which you are applying? Yes or no? United States of America. Yes, I believe I do. Next. Complete an employment tax credit eligibility survey. Click here. Employment. Okay, what kind of tax credits can I get? The Corporation of Foot Locker. All right. The company participates in the federal government's Work Opportunity Tax Credit Program, other federal and state tax credit programs, and or government health insurance programs. The information you supply will be used by or on behalf of this company to complete its federal and state returns and or determine health insurance eligibility and may assist members of targeted groups in securing employment. Your responses to the questions are voluntary and will be confidential to this company's management and third-party service providers. Federal, state, and local agencies and other third parties as necessary to determine eligibility. Whatever that means. Please answer all the questions. The interview takes about three to four minutes to complete. Thank you for giving us all the tax credits possible. No, it just says thank you. Nope. Age verification. Are you under 40? No, because I'm an old ass. Have you previously worked for Foot Locker Retail Incorporated? No, and thank goodness for that. <clears throat> Conditional certification. Have you received a conditional certification from the State Workforce Agency, SWA, or participating local agency for the Work Opportunity Credit? No. I don't even know what that means. Military service. Not sure? Pretty damn sure I've never served in the U.S. military. Have you or any family member with whom you've lived received any form of cash assistance? Bunch of acronyms, benefits within the last two years. No. Are you a member or a family that stopped being eligible for cash assistance? Acronyms, benefits within the last two years because of federal or state limitations? No. Have you received any child care, housing, or transportation assistance anytime since 3 13 2016, 18 months ago? I wish someone paid for my child care, housing, and transportation. Hell no, have not gotten that. Not sure, pretty effing sure. Not felony! <laughs> pretty sure I've not been convicted of a felony. I'm quite allergic to handcuffs. And yes, we'll verify that information for you. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Nope. Haven't been convicted of a felony. Vocational rehabilitation. Not sure? If you're not sure if this applies to you, choose yes, and we'll verify that information for you. Then why am I even filling this out if you got all that information? Have you received vocational rehabilitation services from a state agency, the VA, Veterans Administration, or an employment network under the Ticket to Work program? Nope. Supplemental Security Income. I don't even know what that means. SSI, if, man. Oh, SSI. Nope. Not sure. If you're not sure if this applies to you, choose yes. And we'll verify that information for you. Why are we filling this out if you already have that information? I don't know. No, I've not gotten SSI. Long-term unemployment. Not sure? If you're not sure if this applies to you, choose yes. And we'll verify that for you. Again, why am I asking? <laughs> Sounds like Big Brother's got his fist already up there. No, no long term unemployment. What? Review. Thank you for answering the tax credit screening question for the responses will be saved. 
Now, if you wish to review, please check your note because you already know that before I even freaking filled out this application. Continue. Congratulations on completing the tax credit screening process. Thank you. Your confirmation is blah, 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 done. Oh, here we go. Sales Associate. Final step, complete the store questionnaire. Click here. All right, all right, let's see. Can we do this in 16 minutes before my camera runs out of time here? Good Lord. No, you cannot. <clears throat> all right, candidate registration. In fear, let's see. Hey, you just received three hearts, and now you have to N4, I-N-F-O-R, N4 Privacy Policy. I don't know what an N4 Privacy Policy is, but it was last updated on December 1st, 2016. Your privacy rights. This website is operated by N4, N4, we, us, or our. This privacy policy describes your privacy rights regarding the collection, use, and storage, sharing, process. Blah, blah, blah. Scope and consent. Each time you access this site, we are consenting the information practices or governance policy. You accept the privacy policy when you purchase access. This process, I have a green, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You get the access to all my information just like everybody else, okay. I have read and agreed to the terms of use. Read, yes, agree, whatever. Confirm. Please provide the information requested in the field below regarding diversity. This information is collected in conjunction with government and record keeping requirements. It is completely optional for you to submit and will be used only for equal opportunity employment, equal opportunity and op equal employment opportunity reporting requirements. It is not used as part of the recruiting or hiring process. Also, it means I get to lie my ass off on this one because it doesn't matter, it says. Are you Hispanic or Latino? Yes, I am. A person of Cuban, Mexican, Puerto Rican, South Central American, or Spanish culture or origin regardless of race. In what year were you born? Um, let's see, I said it was over 40, so okay, that's 1972. Or I do not wish to self-identify because whatever. Jeez. <laughs> Submit. Timed. Sections to complete. Timed. Oh my. Okay. Do we have time on my camera here? We got 11 minutes left. Okay. Let me. Now we got all the time. Okay. Let's see, time, let's start, here we go. Instructions, this is a 10 minute time questionnaire because it is time, it requires uninterrupted time to complete. So if you're not in blah, 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 10 minutes. Okay, start, practice, problems. This is so I can work in the mall selling sneakers to kids and people who couldn't care less. Okay, in the mall, here we go. Solve the following problems. 10 divided by two is Hey, it's highlighted five. Thanks for that. Appreciate that. Okay. A box can hold four books. How many books can five boxes hold? Let's see, four, uh, this is 20. 20. So okay. Yeah, We're, no, no this, this one didn't tell me it's 20. All right, but I'm just saying it's not the real thing. Okay. Find the word with the meaning most similar to the word given. Late is similar in meaning to uh overdue because it's highlighted there okay this is very important to sell sneakers okay uh difficult is the opposite of easy okay all right whoops oh 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 read the numbers and decide what the next number should be 11 22 33 44 55 66 77 
88. Sounds awesome. Okay. Next. Tall is too short as big is too no. wide. No, small. Or huge. Huge is big. Dang, don't do that question. I'm trying to sell sneakers in the mall. I know, but like... Just take concentration. I'm trying to sell sneakers. Come on. Which of the following words is different from the others? Slow, swift, quick, prompt. Different. Uh... What? That it went away. I don't know what happened there. Which of the following words is different from the others? Uh, stable, fixed, change, static, change. That's different. An open area free of woods and buildings. An open area free of woods and E F G Q. You have to decide. Yeah. Okay. What so this one. What? How does this okay, have to do so with this sneakers? Is, I know, but this is a definition of something in. The letter that it gives you is, oops, that's a touch oh! screen. <laughs> I didn't know it was oh! touch screen. <laughs> but I can't sell, sell sneakers now. <laughs> Daniel, hush. I'm not going to get the job of the mall. Okay, but listen, so like it's going to give you a definition and then the letters are going to be the letters that start with the word. So you have to think of the word and then the letters will correspond with the first. And this is very important to sell on sneakers in the yeah, mall. Yeah, so like so, circulated as a medium of exchange, like what? Uh, what's, cash, what? C. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, C, cash. And it'll give you a Kiz bunch of them. ash, yo, Kiz C, ass. for currency, finish. This is very important to get my job at the mall selling sneakers. Extremely important. Okay, now we're starting with the questionnaire. Candidate questionnaire directions. When you click on start questionnaire below, you'll be presented with a set of problems like those that have been practicing. The process will probably be too long for you to finish because it's very important to do this selling sneakers. I added that myself. Start questionnaire. What is 15% of 200? Uh, er, hmm. was that 30? Sure, 30. Which of the following words is different from the others? Strangle, <laughs> push, throttle, suffocate. Mom said it was grasp. Push is different than those other ones. Which of the following words is different from the others? Minute, small, moderate, diminutive. Moderate is different. These are very important things to know to sell sneakers in the mall, by the way. Just putting that out there. Erica worked 14 hours last week and 20 hours this week. If she earns $9 per hour, which is slightly above minimum wage here, how much did she earn during these two weeks? All right, where's my, here, hang on, get my calculator out here. Just a minute, just a minute. Hold the phone. It's a timed test. I know it's timed, but I got to sell sneakers. Wait a minute. 20 hours a week. She worked 14 hours last week. Daniel. What? 34. It's thir oh, 34. 34 times what? Uh, nine. 34 times 9. Equals 306. There there we go. 306. Are you so proud of me? Yes. Okay. Which of the following words is different from the others? Sell, trade, barter, bargain. Bargain is different. Slightly. Ian has 14 boxes of paper. How come it can't be Shaniqua? Has 14 boxes of paper. There's a Tiana in there. And divides them evenly between four co-workers. How many whole boxes did each co-worker get? She works at Veritas. Ian has 14 boxes of paper and divides them evenly between four co-workers. Okay. Here we go, kids. 14 divided by 4 equals 3.5 so they each get 3.5 boxes this is extremely important for shoe sales remember this Tiana takes three hours to drive to the coast without stopping how many minutes will it take her to reach the coast if she stops to rest for 20 minutes 
depends on if she had to go through, you know, it's customs or anything like that. Oh, 200. Thank you. You're Appreciate welcome. that. Okay, 200. Generic is most similar in meaning to common. Tamara can proofread 12 pages in 6 minutes because this is extremely important to sell shoes. How many minutes will it take her to proofread 96 pages? Okay, so uh, 96 48. pages. 48. Thank you. 48. There we Extremely important to sell shoes here. Iteration is most similar in meaning to version because we all know the latest iteration of Air Jordans is extremely important to people's nomenclature in their common vocabulary. Alpha is to Omega as first is to uh, second or last or no primary I don't know second okay second let's go with second an office is divided into eight cubicles how many of these cubicles are carpeted if only a quarter of the cubicles are carpeted who cares I'm selling shoes for hell's sakes an office is divided into eight cubicles how many of the cubicles are carpeted eight cubicles uh, two. Let's go with two. Two sounds great. Next. It costs four tokens to park in a garage for an hour. How many hours can you park with 20 tokens? Five. Well, five. But at the mall I'm going to be working at, it's free parking, so who cares, right? Attractive land used for raising crops or livestock. Uh... E F G H, attractive land used for raising crops or livestock. A farm. A farm. That starts with an F. Good job. Because that's Mom. extremely important in selling shoes at the mall. I know. I want to sell shoes at the mall. I want this job really bad, but I got to answer all these questions correctly so I can sell shoes at the mall. Which value is equal to one quarter of 1,360? Holy crap. Okay, let's see. I don't know this one. I guess. Uh, 1,360 times 0.25. Come on, where's the my, my cell phone? Come on, where, where, the cell that doesn't have percentages on my cell phone? 136. There we go. Partition is the opposite of wall. No, 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 no. Partition is the opposite of join. That's right. There we go. Three people earned a total of $12,705 working together last week. Well, they weren't working here, I'll tell you that. Uh, how much should each person receive if they divide the money equally? According to my abacus, $12,705 oh Divided by three is four, two, three, five. There we go. All right. Which of the following words is different from the others? Traduce, defame, libel, praise. Which of the following words is different from the others? I'll go with praise because libel and defame are kind of the same thing. Read the numbers and decide what the next number should be. This is extremely important to make those sneaker sales here. I'll tell you what. 1.125, 7 and what? what? Oh, 8.50, whatever, okay. Pageant is most similar in meaning to 
uh, beauty pageant. Let's go with sovereign pageant. It was like maybe countries or countries or pageanting to become sovereign pageant, uh, pa sovereign countries in a pageant. That could be pageant or uh, show pageantry, beauty pageant, because that's lame. Which of the following words is different from the others? Hesitate, vacillate, dither, ameliorate. Uh, different from the others. I gotta get that shoe sales job here, guys. Ameliorate. What does one quarter of a can of coffee cost if four cans of coffee cost two dollars and forty cents? Oh my gosh. I, I hope that the freaking Foot Locker has a cash register that I don't have to figure this stuff out on my abacus. Um, let me think here. Uh... What does one quarter of a can of coffee cost if four cans of coffee cost two dollars and forty cents? Two point four zero divided by four is point six divided by four point one five. There point one five. There we go. I can sell shoes now. Okay. Need is most similar in meaning to massage with a K. Okay. The store display rotates 40 times every half hour. How many times will the display rotate in four hours? Because this is extremely important shoe sales. Customer comes up, how many times has that shoe rotated in four hours? I don't know. Let me figure it out. Let's see. Store display rotates 40 times every half hour. How many times will this display rotate in four hours? Okay, so we got uh, 40 times four equals 160. Oh, oh, oh man, I, I, I timed out. That's nice. terrible, that's terrible. Questionnaire one of two complete. We <laughs> have successfully completed part one. One more section to go, I need to sell these shoes. Oh my gosh, okay. But I only have five minutes left on my camera. Hang on, let me stop here. Continuing with the candidate questionnaire. You have successfully completed part one. Oh my gosh, that only took an hour. One more section to go to sell nice. shoes at the mall. Untimed questions intro. Distorting your responses to make yourself appear more favorable than you actually are will not help you because there are no right or wrong answers. Respond to each statement in a timely manner and do not spend too much time reflecting on the statements or responses to them. Be aware that the software that administers this assessment is able to determine if you are distorting your responses. Okay, big brother. In order to appear more favorable than you actually are, if you distort your responses, that information will be available to the company in which you are applying. So I can sell shoes at the mall. Okay. Start. I want to be the boss. I completely agree. I, I want to be the boss. Yes. I need opportunities to advance in the company. I completely agree. I need to advance. I am driven to obtain the highest position possible in the organization. I want to be the chief executive officer of Foot Locker all day, every day. Completely agree. I prefer, pro I prefer problems that require a lot of thought. Completely agree, even though I couldn't read the question correctly. It is important that my job involves thinking about complex problems. Absolutely. You know, like such problems as what would happen if you turned your headlights on traveling at the speed of light? What would happen? Those kinds of problems I'm down with. I like work assignments where the solution is difficult to find. Yes, just like the previous problem. Completely agree. It is best to withhold unpopular opinions. Yes, because we all know that unpopular opinions are beat down with bats and hammers. I avoid expressing my opinions if my boss might disagree because I don't want to get hit with a bat and or a hammer. Yes, 
I will agree with my boss to prevent the confrontation. Yes, because I want to get that CEO job and I cannot get it if I disagree. Focusing on small issues is unproductive. I completely disagree. It's all about the small stuff because you wore the wrong matching colors. That is bad. Do not obsess over minor parts of my work. Minor parts of my work. I completely disagree because if Sally looks at me wrong, I am set off and triggered for the rest of the night. It is not worth obsessing over every detail. Neutral, because sometimes I don't care about Sally. It's frustrating when companies change existing work procedures. Uh, neutral, because it's all about the paycheck. Coworkers would say I prefer the old way of doing things. Nope, progression. You gotta, you gotta pro progress. Can pro progress. I can't be the chief operating officer if I don't progress. Completely agree. Wait, coworkers would say I prefer the old way of doing things. No, wait, wait, no. I completely disagree because I can't be a CEO if I don't do that. I generally dislike it when company policies change. Completely disagree because I can't be the chief executive officer if I don't change. I prefer familiar tasks to new tasks. Completely disagree. I like change all day, every day. I need to know what tasks I will be doing each day. Disagree because I'm all about change. Change, change, change. I prefer to work on familiar work tasks. Neutral because I like change. I set my work aside to assist coworkers with their work. Um, agree, because I'm a team player. I, I contribute to the team. People should take time away from their work to assist with their coworkers. Absolutely agree, because it's all about the team. I dislike taking time away from my work to assist coworkers. Completely disagree. All about teamwork. And... They need to ask this question more than one time in a different way so that they make sure that I answer it the way that they want to make it and so I get it right. So I'm going to have this three more times. People have said that I should pursue a career in the arts. No. Disagree. Neutral. Whatever. I'm very skilled in the arts. Neutral. I'm happiest expressing myself through the arts. Neutral. I sometimes start projects I have difficulty finishing. Completely disagree. I finish everything I start. Some employees care too much about finishing tasks. Some employees care too much about finishing tasks ahead of schedule because they want to blend in too much and they want to be overachievers. I agree. Taking frequent breaks from your work helps you keep helps keep you refreshed and productive. No, you disagree. You must always work for the man all day, every day. Work for the man. People can tell when I'm stressed. Completely disagree because I refuse to show emotion at work. No one can see when I am in a bad mood. Completely agree because I don't show emotion at work. It's all about the job. My coworkers know when I'm frustrated at work. Completely disagree. Again, back to it's all about the job. I am the first to notice when coworkers are unhappy. Disagree because, again, no emotions at work. People are easy under, to understand. People are easy to understand. Neutral because no emotions ever at work. I know how coworkers are feeling. Nope. Neutral. No emotions at work. I let others know of my success. Disagree because I don't want people to be triggered by my successes outside of work. I see work that will get me noticed. Disagree. Again, because I don't want to trigger people. My successes should be rewarded. Disagree because I am just the same as everybody else. It is sometimes difficult to stay positive in uncertain times. Neutral because that would be showing emotions at work and it's not allowed. I am sometimes surpi surprised when things go without a problem. Neutral, because it's work. Everything is planned. I notice the negative aspects of a job. Neutral, again, because everything is planned. People should slow down at work. 
neutral because everything is pre-scheduled and organized. People who work quickly make a lot of careless mistakes. People who work quickly make a lot of careless mistakes. Going to have to be neutral on that. People get too stressed when they try to work fast. Neutral because what if some persons just work differently? I don't know. It's not for me to say. I trust data more than my instincts. Neutral. It is best to avoid making decisions based on intuitions. No, because who knows what's right or wrong. There's no right or wrong these days. I feel uncomfortable making decisions based on my intuition. Neutral, again, because there's no such thing as right or wrong. I stop thinking about a decision once I make it. Neutral, because all decisions are made in the employee handbook before I even arrive there. I often think about previous conversations I've had at work. Neutral, because we're not allowed to think at work. There's no point in worrying about past decisions. Again, we're not allowed to think at work. It's all about the employee handbook. If you have to risk money, you have to risk money to make money. <laughs> Neutral, because we're not allowed to take risks in life. I avoid taking risks. Neutral, again, because we're not allowed to take risks in life. I have taken risks when the odds were against me. Again, neutral, because it's all about the employee handbook. Friendships are unimportant at work. Completely agree, because we're there to get a paycheck and not to make friends. I do not expect, I do not expect to form friendships at work. Completely agree because we are there for the employer and not for the friendships. It is possible to have too many friends at work. Completely disagree because we are not there to socialize. We are there to work and earn money and earn profits for the company. Most projects should be completed as a group work. Agree because it's all about teamwork. I accomplish more if I work in a group. Agree, because it's all about teamwork again. Kaizen, the Japanese term for continually improving. Everyone performs better when working in a group. Agree, again, because individualism is dead. An employee who fears being fired will work hard. <laughs> Completely disagree. To go back to the office space quote, an employee will only work hard enough just not to get fired. Poor performance indicates that an employee needs to be disciplined. Poor performance indicates that an employee needs to be disciplined. Agree. It's all about the company, its profits, and its shareholder stock prices. That's it. End of story. Stock prices. Good managers discipline employees who do poor work. Agree, because if the stock price is not rising, they must be fired. I have been annoyed by a co-worker before. Neutral, because emotions are not to be had in the workplace. I never make mistakes at work. Neutral, because I only do what the employee handbook says. I have gotten upset at work. Neutral. If it's not in the employee handbook, it doesn't exist. I seek out projects where I can be in charge of others. Completely agree because my goal is to be the chief executive officer of Foot Locker. Coworkers would say that I am aggressive about trying to advance my career. Completely agree because I'm going to be the next chief executive officer of Foot Locker. I prefer a position that has status. Completely agree because the chief executive officer is the head. I prefer a position that has power. Again, the chief executive officer has power. Trying to solve problems without a clear solution is fun. Completely agree because the chief executive officer is all powerful. I dislike problems without clear solutions. 
completely disagree because if I'm the chief executive officer, my solution is the only solution. Simple tasks are the most enjoyable. Completely agree because I like simple. I enjoy simple assignments at work. Completely agree. I avoid disagreeing with co coworkers. Neutral because I leave emotions out of it. I avoid making unpopular decisions. Neutral again because we don't want to bring emotions into work. I avoid correcting my boss when I know he or she is wrong. Hmm. Neutral because I don't want to get fired. I will correct my boss if I know he or she is wrong. Neutral because I'm all about throwing them under the bus at the right time so I can get promoted to chief executive officer. It is unnecessary to discuss every detail of a plan. Neutral. Small issues deserve less time. Neutral. A person can be too precise about their work. Neutral. Very important in shoe sales at the mall. I don't know how, but it is. Concerning yourself with many details is unproductive. Sure, I'll agree with that one. Changes to workplace policies are often unnecessary. Neutral. I generally like it when companies change their policies. I completely agree because it's all about change. All day, every day change. Successful companies resist changing too much. Strongly disagree. All day, every day, change every day. Companies should focus on using only established strategies. Neutral. I seek out familiar tasks at work. Agree, because I like easy stuff. I want to know what to expect on a daily basis at work. Sure, I agree. I enjoy a predictable routine. I agree. I enjoy jobs where the duties rarely change. Of course, who doesn't? I am frustrated by coworkers who need a lot of help doing their jobs. Yeah, we hate that. My own work tasks often prevent me from helping others with theirs. Neutral. At times, you have to let coworkers fail at a task. <laughs> Completely agree, so I can post about it on Facebook. Let coworkers fix their own mistakes. Completely agree, so I can post about it on Facebook. I am a very artistic person, neutral, because art is not part of business. People would say that I'm most talented at creative projects, neutral, again, because art is not part of business. People say that I'm eccentric. Neutral, because that would be weird. I need work that requires artistry. Neutral, again, because art is not required in business. I sometimes welcome distractions at work. Neutral, because I'm supposed to be completely focused all day, every day at work about the policies and the procedures of the company. Raise that stock price. People worry too much about work deadlines. Disagree, they need to work worry always about deadlines <laughs> to raise the stock price of the company. I occasionally delay work on unpleasant tasks. Strongly dis completely disagree because it's all about raising the stock price of the company. It is sometimes necessary to leave projects unfinished. Disagree because if I leave a project unfinished the stock price could fall the next day and then what would the stockholders say? People do not realize when I'm upset. Neutral. Again, emotions do not belong at work. My coworkers can see when I'm upset. Again, neutral because emotions do not belong at work. Coworkers are way aware of how I'm feeling. Neutral. Again, because emotions do not belong at work. It is difficult for coworkers to know how I'm feeling. Again, neutral because emotions do not belong at work. I understand why people do what they do. Neutral. Like a robot. Because I am a robot and I only do what mm -hmm. the employee handbook says that I should do and emotions are not allowed at work. <laughs> I know why my coworkers act the way they do. Neutral. Because again, emotions are not allowed at work. Coworkers often discuss their problems with me. Neutral. Because outside issues should not be brought to work. I am uninterested in other people's problems. Neutral, because outside problems are not a place at work. I expect to be recognized for good work. 
completely agree because I need to be the chief executive officer of this company. I enjoy it when others talk about my accomplishments. Completely agree because that's part of being the chief executive officer of Foot Locker. I need to hear that I do a good job. Completely agree. Again, because I need to become the chief executive officer. It is important to receive praise from others. Completely agree because that's part of being the chief executive officer. I sometimes expect the worst. Completely disagree because the chief executive officer never fails. Most people have difficulty remaining positive during bad times. Neutral. Who cares? Trusting pe most people is unwise. Trusting most people is unwise. Completely agree. Trust nobody. People will often let you down. Strongly agree. Never trust anybody. It is important not to be rushed in your work. Neutral. People need to slow down at work. Neutral. I prefer to work at a calm pace. Neutral. I dislike being rushed at work. Neutral. The best leaders rely on the facts, not intuition. Neutral. Using your intuition to make decisions is usually a bad idea. Neutral. It's part of emotions. They don't belong at work. I rely on my intuition to help me make good decisions. Neutral because emotions are not part of work. I rely on my instincts to make decisions. Neutral. No emotions at work, ever. I rely... I rarely think about work issues after I leave work. Completely agree because your work life and personal life are completely separate and should never intermingle, ever. I continue to think about a problem even after choosing a solution. Completely disagree. Again, work life, personal life, never intermingle. I spend a lot of time thinking about the effects of others' actions. Neutral. It's all about the employee handbook. I think about my past decisions a lot. Completely disagree because if it doesn't apply to the job or personal life, they're totally separate. Potential gains are worth potential losses. Potential gains are worth potential losses. Neutral. I will risk a lot if it might pay off in the end. Neutral. I only do what's best for the company. I always ask myself every day, is this good for the company? Just like in the movie Office Space. Is this good for the company? I prefer to spend my time on high-risk opportunities with potential for greater rewards. Neutral. Much of the fun in life involves risks. Neutral, because my personal life and business life are totally separate. I am happiest when I am interacting with my coworkers. Neutral. That involves emotions. Can't be allowed at work. I like to maintain a personal distance from co-workers. I like to maintain a personal distance from co-workers. Completely agree. They are not allowed relationships inside of work. I need to feel like I belong to my co-workers social group. Completely disagree. Work workplace relationships and personal relationships never should intermingle. I like to know what is happening in my coworkers' personal lives. Completely disagree. Again, work and personal should never intermingle. Work is more enjoyable when you share responsibilities with others. Neutral. I prefer to work in a team. Completely agree as long as I'm the chief executive officer. I work better alone. Completely disagree because I didn't get to become a chief executive officer by being an individual. Only by being the employee handbook or something. <clears throat> I would threaten to take away an employee's raise to make them work harder. Completely disagree because that's illegal. I would regularly use discipline as a means of correcting employees' performance issues. What kind of discipline? Neutral. My job performance would improve if I were paid more. Uh, neutral. People will work harder if they are paid more. Neutral. I have said things before that I wish I had not said. Neutral. I have never been dissatisfied with the job. Neutral. I have never had a bad day at work.
neutral. <clears throat> All of my coworkers admire me neutral because there's no place for admiration or emotions. It is important to have a position of power. Completely agree because I want to be the chief executive officer. I belong in a position of power. I completely agree because I belong as a chief executive officer. My rank in the company is important to me. Completely agree because chief executive officer or nothing. I prefer simple work-related assignments. Completely agree because the simpler the better. I enjoy work projects require little thought. Completely agree because the simpler the better. I enjoy work assignments with simple challenges. Completely agree because I like to be laid back and chill. I avoid correcting coworkers when I know they are wrong. Neutral because I would hate to trigger any of my coworkers. I correct my boss when I know he or she is wrong. Neutral because I don't want to trigger my boss. God forbid. I state my opinions to my boss even if he or she might disagree. Neutral because I can't climb the corporate ladder if they're pissed off at me. People exaggerate the importance of details. Neutral. I try to avoid getting trapped in conversations about specifics. Neutral. People are too concerned with the details of a task. Neutral. Business success relies on avoiding change. Business success relies on avoiding change. Completely disagree. Change will make me the chief executive officer. Businesses are too quick to change to new organizational trends. Completely disagree. Changing an organization's business strategy causes too many problems. Changing an organization's business strategy causes too many problems. Completely disagree. Business because businesses can do whatever they want, whenever they want, for whatever reason. I like having a job with routine duties. Completely agree. I prefer an unchanging set of duties. Completely agree. I prefer routine work. Completely agree. At time, <clears throat> at times, you have to let coworkers struggle with their works. Completely agree, so I can post about it on Facebook. Coworkers can help each other too much. Completely agree. When a coworker asks for assistance, sometimes you have to say no. Completely agree, so I can post about it on Facebook. I spend much of my leisure time imagining. Completely agree. Imagining what it would be like to be the chief executive officer for Foot Locker. Others are not curious as I am. Others are not as curious as I am. Completely agree because they're not as curious as I am to become the chief executive officer for Foot Locker. I need a creative outlet at work. Neutral. Creativity does not belong in the workplace. I need to finish my work ahead of schedule. Neutral. I sometimes postpone beginning a new project. Neutral. I need to complete projects early. Neutral. I hide my emotions at work. Again, Emotions are not allowed in the workplace. Coworkers are unaware of my emotions. Neutral. No emotions ever in the workplace. My coworkers can see what I'm feeling. Neutral. Emotions, again, are not allowed in the workplace. I spend time cheering up coworkers who are unhappy. Neutral, because I wouldn't know if they are happy or unhappy because it is the workplace and emotions are not allowed in the workplace. Spending time to understand my coworkers' feelings is important. Neutral. Feelings are not allowed in the workplace. I do not care if I am recognized for my work. Neutral. It is important that my coworkers acknowledge my success. Completely agree so that I can become the chief executive officer of Foot Locker. Coworkers often have hidden agendas. Completely agree like mine so I can become the chief executive officer of Foot Locker. People are trustworthy, neutral, that, that implies emotions and feelings and other things and that's not part of the workplace. People will do the right thing, neutral, I prefer to work fast, neutral. A fast paced work environment is tiring, neutral. I prefer to work at a slow steady pace, neutral. I make good decisions by relying mostly on my instincts, neutral. Instincts and feelings are nowhere allowed in the workplace. The best leaders rely on their intuition. Neutral. I trust my instincts when making decisions at work. Neutral. 
I spend a lot of time thinking about past decisions. Neutral. I am sometimes anxious about the consequences of my decisions. Neutral. I think about work decisions when away from my job. Neutral. I prefer activities that involve an element of risk. Neutral. I enjoy taking risks for the rewards. Neutral. I enjoy jobs where success involves taking chances. Neutral. I like sharing personal stories. Neutral. Personal lives and work lives are not to be intermingled. I want to confide in my coworkers. Completely disagree because personal lives and work lives are not to be intermingled. I am disappointed if I miss an opportunity to visit coworkers. Completely disagree because that is not the place for socialization. I like working with by I like working by myself to complete a task. Disagree. It's all about teamwork. Without teamwork, I will not become the chief executive officer of Foot Locker. I accomplish more if I work by myself. Completely disagree because without my team, I will not become the chief executive officer of Foot Locker. I like working alone. Completely disagree because, again, by myself, I will not become the chief executive officer of Foot Locker. Money is the best way to motivate employees. Completely disagree because... It is not about money, it's about job satisfaction, period, end of story. It's not about the money. It's all about being satisfied with the work that you do for the company. Also, raising shareholder prices is satisfying by itself. People work more when they are paid more. Completely disagree. It's not about the money at all. It's all about pure job satisfaction, enjoying the work that you do, period. The prospect of a raise motivates workers the most. Nope, it's all about self-fulfillment and doing the job correctly and according to specifications. Completely disagree. My work has never been criticized. Neutral. I am never stressed at work. Neutral. My work is always flawless. Completely agree. I only do what is ex what is expected of me, no more and no less. Your application is almost complete. You have completed all questionnaire steps. Please click submit below to finish the application process for Foot Locker. Submit. Boy, I hope I can sh sell shoes at the Foot Locker in the mall. Oh man, selling shoes at the mall would be awesome. Your application was submitted successfully. Thank you for applying. We received your application submission for this opportunity. Thank you. All right. I hope I get to work at the mall as a shoe salesperson after applying for this job that took me over an hour to apply for. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay.